a cylindrical barrel with diameter 2 feet, which means that we have a radius of 1 foot, and it collects rainwater as shown in the figure above. So rain, water drains out through a valve on the bottom, and the rate of change of the height of the water in the barrel with respect to time is dh by dt equals negative 1 over 10 root h. And so the it asks for find the rate of change of the volume of the water in the barrel with respect to time when the height is 4 feet. So first of all, this is a related rate problem. So we need to make sure that we relate the, the quantities that we're looking for. So we have volume and height. Okay, so we have our equation already given, which relates volume and height. Now the radius is constant. And so we don't have to worry about that r when we differentiate this. Okay, and r is equal to 1. So the equation that we're going to deal with is going to look like this. So we're going to end up with v is equal to pi r squared, which is going to be 1 times h. So this is a the equation that relates the volume and the height, so we can differentiate this with respect to time. So we get dv over dt is equal to pi times dh over dt. Okay, so we differentiate the h, we need to generate the dh by dt. And it says when the height is 4 feet, okay, the find the volume, change the volume with the barrel with respect to time when the height of the water is 4 feet. So we can replace the dv dh by dt. So when we have this expression, we can replace the parts that we know. We know that dh by dt is going to be negative 1 over 10 root h. And then we can calculate dv by dt for h is equal to 4 feet. And we end up with pi times negative 1 over 10 square root of 4 and that gives us negative 2 over 10 pi which we can simplify to negative pi over 5 and this is going to be cubic feet per second okay so there's part a it's a related rate problem we need to relate the variables to each other differentiate with respect to time, and then we can plug in the parts that we know. Part B for this problem says, when the height is water is 3 feet, what is the rate of change of the height? With, is the rate of change of the height with respect to time increasing or decreasing? So we have to be careful with this wording. It says the rate of change of height increasing or decreasing. So this means that we're talking about a second derivative. Okay, so this is a second derivative. So we start with our dh by dt, and that's equal to negative 1 over 10 root h. And we're going to differentiate this again. So we're going to find the second change. So we're going to differentiate this with respect to uh, h. Okay, so we're going to do negative 1 over 10 times 1 over 2 root h. And again, because we're differentiating the h, we need to differentiate this with respect to time. So we end up with dh over dt. And actually, I'm going to do the dh over dt in a different color. That dh over dt is really what we've established from the beginning. So to get the final expression for this, we need to substitute in. So we get negative 1 over 20, 1 over root h times, and that's going to be our second derivative, or sorry, our first derivative. We plug that back in. So we end up with negative 1 over 10 root h. And we can see that some things cancel out here. So we end up canceling out the root h's. 
we can evaluate the second derivative as it ends up being a constant, so negative negative is positive. So we end up with 1 over 20, 200, sorry, and this is going to be uh, feet. The change is going to be positive, 1 over 20, 200 feet per second every second. Okay, so what that means then is that the second derivative is positive, so the the rate of change of height with respect to time is going to be increasing. So the rate of change is increasing. Okay, and again, I'll just highlight that. That's because that's a positive value there.